Welcome to my channel. Hi, my name's Bill, aka Billy Goat. This footage here was recorded on October 3rd, 2020. Day one, part two of a brush mowing job in collaboration with Randy of Dual and Cut and Trim. If you haven't already, be sure to check out part one. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm using a 1999 DR all-terrain brush and field mower, model AT1. Randy up there is using a 2002 DR all-terrain brush and field mower, model AT2. I will also leave links to both mowers in the description. These type of jobs you never know what you're going to come across or even uh, run over and it looks like here Randy's uh, you know stuck on a uh, chicken wire fence it's the wires all kind of balled up um, and there's a, a fence uh, post there as well and uh, we just have to look out for that as we uh, you know get through this uh, section here.
I mentioned earlier, you never know uh, what you're going to come across on these type of properties. And letting Randy be the uh, point man uh, at this job. Um, he's the one that uh, if there is any surprises, uh, he'll be the first to uh, experience that. And uh, he definitely did uh, here with uh, two deer that uh, jumped out in front of him. Randy was just letting me know uh, if I didn't see uh, what was going on uh, up there uh, to uh, you know be careful uh, that he came across two deers here and uh, wasn't sure uh, if there's more out there uh, just to kind of tread lightly uh, and just be uh, aware of our surroundings. It looks like Randy stalled out the uh, engine. Uh, apparently he uh, ran over a uh, chicken wire uh, post uh, that was uh, in the ground there. And uh, so I came over uh, to see what was going on and uh, saw the post there. And uh, I was trying to pull it out, but uh, I couldn't get it out. So all I did was just kind of pull it up so that uh, you know, we could see it um, as we, uh, you know, roll around it. This here is one of the many reasons I rather use uh, rough cut mowers uh, versus uh, finished mowers on these type of properties because you never know uh, what you're going to hit and uh, these mowers here uh, can definitely uh, you know, take, take the abuse uh, more so than uh, finished mowers.
these uh, brush mower attachments uh, we are using our uh, side discharge and what we do is uh, we do our perimeter uh, passes in a uh, clockwise direction and then um, then we switch to a uh, counterclockwise uh, direction and that'll help keep uh, the mower deck clear um, as we uh, you know, discharge uh, that'll help uh, reduce the uh, motor from stalling.
Yeah, I uh, stalled out the uh, motor. I had too much uh, debris uh, in the uh, deck there and it got kind of clogged up and uh, shut the mower down. So all you do is just uh, clear it out and uh, restart and uh, just keep uh, just keep going.
coming up here. Uh, Randy was uh, not paying attention and uh, had another deer uh, jump out uh, in front of him, and he definitely wasn't uh, too happy about it.
unfortunately uh, you won't see uh, us completing uh, this pasture here uh, the camera uh, battery died and uh, wasn't able to uh, you know get the rest of the footage but i appreciate you watching uh, please like comment and subscribe and uh, in the next uh, couple days i'll be posting uh, day two here uh, where we do a uh, uh, come back on a sunday and we um, mow down another three acres so uh, we'll see you in the next one.